Yo, what's up YouTube? In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to color your object in Blender and export it to Roblox. This is going to be a really fast tutorial and let's get right into the video. Alright, to start off, you want to select whichever, whichever object you want to color first. Doesn't matter, honestly. So you just click on it and you come over here to this tabs thing down here. Click the circle. Then you come over here, press plus new. Over here you'll see base color, there's a little yellow circle beside it, you click on it and click image texture, it's right here. Alright, now that you have that, come up to the top of the blender tabs and click UV editing. Now you see nothing's here, so what you want to do is go find you a, a color palette to import right here. I'll have one in the description of the one I use, so what you want to do is click this open image then you find whatever you just saved to your camera roll or wherever you saved it then you then you open it now I have all my color right here so you come back over here you click right here and you click the image that you just imported that you're trying to use to color yours will show up like this still and then you just press Z and then hover over material preview And then you tab out of this and apply that material that you just created to all of your other objects and then what you want to do is go back to it yours won't be colored I already colored this previously this is just for the tutorial so you press a select all of it you project from view and then you scale it down to a size that you can manage and you just hover over whichever color you want it to be and it'll change the color all right and now you just do that same thing for the rest of them just tab a to select all U, project from view scale it down and then move it wherever you need to with g and whenever you're done you just import it to Roblox and I'll show you how to do that right now all right now that we're in Roblox all you want to do is come up to your workspace click the plus sign and then it's not showing up on my screen but it, it'll show up on yours there's a little box and inside the box it'll say mesh part click on mesh part this should pop up if you don't see mesh part at first then you could just search for it then you click on this you come over to mesh ID you click the folder then you insert whatever you just made or whatever you're trying to import so for mine it was the YouTube sword and then it says do you want your mesh to go to the location data no now it won't show up with the material at first for most of you because you haven't uploaded it yet and what you want to do to fix that is come over to the side make sure your properties panel is turned on you can go into view click this and it'll show up and it'll say texture ID here most of yours will show up like this so you go over to texture ID you click on it you click add image and you choose file and then you import whatever image you just colored your sword with so for mine I already have it imported I'll show you right here it was the blender color palette right here so I just click on it and then boom all of the color is back and that's all thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video